Hey guys, welcome to today's math lesson. We're going to be talking about capacity. So you might want to play along with me at home. This is a good time to get yourself some Play-Doh. And then you can pl play Play-Doh with me. And if your parents are okay with it, it's a fun time to get rice in a bowl. Maybe you should watch the video first and then play after when you see all of the rules for the game. But we're going to be playing with rice today. So the first thing we're going to do is get Play-Doh. And you might be saying to yourself, Mrs. Angal, that doesn't look like normal Play-Doh and that doesn't look like a normal Play-Doh container. And you're right. Don't worry, I made it myself, and you can make your own Play-Doh at home, too. You can make Play-Doh by using the same amount of flour as salt, and then some water to squish it together, and then you just roll it into a dough. So I'm going to make two different things. I'm going to make a bowl big enough to hold a red ripe strawberry, maybe even a red ripe strawberry, the big hungry bear would want to come and eat. <laughs> it's one of my favorite books, the big hungry bear. Ooh. This looks like a nice sized bowl for a red ripe strawberry, just the perfect size for a little mouse and myself to share. And then I'm going to make a vase. Some of you might call it a vase. Doesn't really matter. Two ways to say the same word. Just big enough to hold a teeny tiny itty bitty flower. And we'll have to use our imaginations. I'm actually going to use a tool for this. Now we have our bowl. And we have our vase, but how can we tell which one has the biggest capacity, the most capacity? What does that mean again, capacity? Capacity is how much an object can hold. Hmm. Well, we can't fill these with rice, but you know what I have. A bowl and a spoon. I have a teeny tiny little yogurt cup. I have a bowl and I have the cap from a bottle. So how can we compare the capacity of these objects? Well, that's right, we can put rice in them. So let's count spoonfuls of rice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, it's getting very, very close. I don't know if I can put even one more in. I will try. Thirteen. And I'm going to record it on my handy dandy notebook because I don't want to forget. So let me grab a piece of paper and I'm going to draw a bowl to the best of my abilities. And remember, it's math, it's not art, so we don't have to spend a long time on these observational notes. But later, you can always go back and you can draw a beautiful still life. And I'm going to write 
to what it looks like with the rice in it. I'm gonna draw the rice. And if I really wanna challenge myself, I can write how many spoonfuls went in. One, 13, that's one, three. Three's around the tree, around the tree, 13. And if I really, really want to challenge myself, I can write the word rice to the best of my abilities. I'm not going to do that. But if you want to do that, I would love to see how it goes. So next, we're going to fill, next, we're going to fill the yogurt container. Do you think it'll have more rice, more spoonfuls of rice in it, or less spoonfuls of rice? Which one do you think has the biggest capacity? Which one do you think can hold the most? One, two, you know, wait, before we finish, I'm going to hypothesize. My hypothesis is that the bowl will hold more rice than the yogurt cup. So we're at two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, no way, thirteen spoonfuls of rice. What? My hypothesis was incorrect. It was wrong. It didn't hold more or less. It held the same amount. It has the same capacity, even though they look very, very different. So now I'm gonna go back to my paper and I'm going to draw the cup. And I'm going to put how it looks with the rice in it. And it's Mac, so I'm gonna kind of scribble. But maybe later I'll go back and draw beautifully. And then I'm gonna challenge myself to write the same number as before because it has the same capacity. How unexpected. I did not anticipate this turn of events at all. Now, last but certainly not least, we have this cap. Which one do you think is going to have more rice in it? These two or the cap? Which one has the most capacity? Uh, you're, you guys are probably right. The cap doesn't look like it's going to hold much rice at all. But let's find out. One. <laughs> One tiny spoonful of rice. That's it. So let's take our observational notes. I'm going to draw a little tiny cap. I'm going to put rice in the cap. And I'm going to write one just one little spoonful. Hmm. Ooh, spoonful would be a fun word to write. Let's think about it. This one's going to be a little tricky. Sp. 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 Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. What makes an ooh sound? That's tricky. I don't know if we've talked about this yet. Ooh comes from double O. Sp, ooh, n, n, we know n. Spoon. That's it, just 
just one spoon of rice. So let's think of some ways you can play this game at home. If you have a big bin, you can use rice and you can use a spoon to scoop into different objects. If you have a mat on your table like me and your family is okay with you playing directly on the table, you can always do that. What if you don't have rice that you can use? What if you're not allowed to use food to play with? Well, outside is this amazing, wonderful stuff that worms love to wiggle around in. Dirt. You can always use dirt. What about sand in a sandbox? Or, hmm, do any of you have little Legos? You can take spoonfuls of Legos. What are some other cool objects you could use? Oh, I know, Play-Doh. You could even squish Play-Doh into different sized objects to see what the capacity is, as long as the Play-Doh comes back out. If it's something you have to use, like a little tiny knife to, to poke the Play-Doh out, it's not good to play for a capacity game. But for a big object like this, if I had enough Play-Doh, I could squish it in and then just roll it back out. You should always ask an adult first, especially because adults are usually the people who own the objects that you want to be using. And they'll help you troubleshoot and come up with ideas for you to play this game at home. Thank you guys so much for playing with me today. Bye-bye.